What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the IED device in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, uh, this thing is a new equipment in the game that we haven't seen before in the Call of Duty series, but it greatly resembles a couple of other pieces of equipment that I'm sure you guys know about. That would be the Claymore and the Bouncing Betty. So this thing is the like proximity activated explosive device that you can place down to hold down your back or cut off a choke point, or, you know, give you a warning that an enemy is coming around a certain way, you know, whatever like that. And it's actually pretty good. Like, I, I like this equipment in this game I use it on a lot of my sniper classes and things that are a little bit more stationary and and it's a pretty powerful tool so I wanted to let you guys know about it so uh, let's take a look at the ranges of this thing so boom right here this is where the IED is now in order for an enemy to set this thing off he needs to step somewhere within this yellow line and that's a radius around the entire IED so somewhere that close to that IED I don't know what that is maybe three meters four meters something like that if he gets that close he's gonna set it off now the question is 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 he gonna kill himself like is it gonna get you the kill so uh, there's two things here one is there is still a lag time in between the trigger and the explosion it's exactly one second it's gonna go beep 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 and then it's gonna explode and, and it's pretty quick like usually if you set one of these things off you're gonna get hit by it but the question is is it just gonna be a hit marker or are you gonna get killed and, and if you want to get a kill the kill radius of this thing is very very small it's this red line right here so as you can see you pretty much need to be on top of this device in order for it to kill you by yourself or if you want to put danger close on which is a really expensive perk by the way it costs four perk points but if you put danger close on it doubles that kill radius that's the bottom red line there so danger close obviously makes it much much more effective but I don't know if that's where that that's kind of in your opinion but but yeah you pretty much have to be on top of it for it to kill you but the thing is is it's pretty easy to get enemies to be on top of it like this thing it looks like a piece of trash I die to these things all the time just literally running right over I'm not even realizing it's an explosive because it looks like a piece of trash that would just be sitting around the map so uh, that's one thing it's got going for it and then the other thing it's got going for it is it's sticky like a C4 and you can throw it like a C4 you don't place it down like a claymore you throw it so you can put it uh, in doorways just above the doorway on the ceiling you can put it on walls you can put it next to dumpsters like on the side of dumpsters like there's a bunch of different places you can put this thing in creative ways that you can you know get people to run into it so it can be really really useful you know like I said it's it's great for those more stationary classes where you want something to watch your back or in objective game modes it's just it's good because you can tell when people are coming around a certain corner or through a certain doorway or you know you can set it up to protect one of your blitz flags you know something like that like it's just it's a pretty good equipment it's pretty powerful I feel like all the equipment are a little bit less powerful this time around like grenades simtexes all that stuff included there's gonna be more kind of in-depth videos on those coming soon but but yeah I think the ID is a pretty good piece of equipment it's fun to use it's fun to mix it up with and and I don't see a lot of people using it so I thought I might as well let you guys know that it is a pretty legit equipment that you can use to your advantage if, if the situation in your class setup is right so I know there you guys have it that is all about the IED in this game hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I got a bunch of great ghost videos coming soon so make sure you guys keep checking back thank you guys so much for watching check out these other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet and I'll catch you guys later peace out